Jermel Newman had big plans for her daughter Jasmine's 23rd birthday. She was going to hold a surprise dinner for her. I had a, a reserve a spot at the Texas Row House. That's her favorite restaurant. And I went there to have a spot with all the family, all her friends, and we was going to celebrate it. She didn't know that was going to happen. So I told her, because she was like, well, Mama, you know, I know you don't have no money. She always think I don't have no money, but I be hiding stuff. <laughs> so I say I was going to do that for her. But on October 20th, 2019, the day before Jasmine Newman's big day, she attended another birthday party in Port Arthur for someone else. Jermel was worried about her going. She had a premonition of danger. She was, oh, mama, you always be thinking negative that like something going to happen. I say, you don't know what the world is, baby. People do crazy things in the world. Just be careful. Sadly, Jermel would be right. And they were just laughing, having a good time. And they say somebody passed three times in a car. And when they made the last three times, then they went through the alley. That's when shots rang out, bullets hitting Jasmine and three others. Jermel says Jasmine's wound to the back would be fatal. Ooh, this this horrible. I think about her all the time. It, it never fails that I don't think about my baby every day. In addition to a grief-stricken mother, Jasmine left behind two children. A girl, Alex, is now six, and a boy, Kaysen, is four. Jermel says she does not believe Jasmine was targeted. She just thinks her only child was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Jazz don't know nobody around gang life. She, she not that type of person. I ain't raised her. She never had that. I, my house was a, a Christian house. We didn't believe in it. And I always told her I didn't want her to be around thugs. Nearly five years after that tragic shooting in the 1100 block of Vicksburg Avenue in Port Arthur, Jermel still doesn't know who killed her daughter, but she has this message. You making it worse for yourself. As long as you stay out, as long as you're going to have it bad for yourself. You should be that person. Knowing that you did something, you know you did this on my child, on uh, the 1100 block of Vicksburg. You know where you was. You know what you did. You know what you did down that alley. You know what you did. So it's time for you to be a big boy. Come on and walk yourself in the Port Arthur Police Department and tell them, hey, I, I killed Jasmine Newman. Port Arthur Police Chief Tim Duraso says there are two persons of interest he wants to interview in this investigation. Both are locked up on charges unrelated to Jasmine's death. Jermel knows nothing will bring her daughter back, but says bringing whoever did it to justice will provide peace. Never thought that I'd be losing my precious daughter. Never thought that. I thought my child was going to go to school, go to college, and be a nurse, following my mama's footstep that was a nurse, and that's what she wanted to do, to take care of her kids. You know, and it's, it's just hard. It's hard to just uh, live sometimes, but I got to keep on pushing because nobody else going to do it. Nobody else going to do what I do every day. I, I, I call, I talk to the chief, I talk to the detective. I keep them on their toes. And Jermel says she plans to continue making sure her daughter's memory remains alive.